Well, hello everybody and welcome to the live stream. Over the past few days, I've been working on a wooden gazebo that some of you guys might have seen on the newly implemented YouTube stories. You can see there now, all them posts are behind me. And I can't find my phone charger. Anyway, that's beside the point. I was working on the timber frame and basically, when I like to dig into a project, I just keep on working without cleaning up. And as a result, the table behind me looks like that. And the table in front of me looks like this. And the dog behind me is eating what? Okay, we leave her to her own devices. I doubt she'll help, but she can stick around anyway, because she looks cute. All right, I'm gonna open the door the whole way up. I'm gonna talk my way through cleaning up the garage. Now it'll take far longer and I'll probably spend more time answering questions than I will cleaning. But I suppose I have to do something to make it interesting for myself. Isn't that right, Lucy? Right, so where, where to begin? That's the thing. I suppose I'll start with this piece of oak that's in my vice. This is a piece of oak I paid handsomely for two years ago when I was building the Curragh at a time when timber prices hit some sort of free kai during COVID when everyone wanted timber. The world went timber mad and woodworkers' wallets felt the burden. And I was just getting into woodworking as well. I was like, God, I picked a horrible time to get into this, huh? How's it going with the new shop? Delays, 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 but I'm convinced we'll get in there eventually. Oh, good news. Um, my table saw died. It just stopped working. And maybe it's a sign from the hand tool gods that I shouldn't have been toying with electricity in the first place. So I think we're not going to fix it. I think we're just going to stick to the rip cut saws. This is my replacement. Look, I'm not even looking after it right. I'm putting it under the toolbox. But my uh, miter saw is still working. So we have that going for us. If I can put him on top of the table saw here now. I went a month and a half without using any power tools. But now um, I relapsed there. I tried to, but it didn't work for me, so. Right, my lovely woolly jumper. Just put him to the side for now. There's a job I've been meaning to do. Oh, thank you, Cormac Bowen. Whatever make a loy, you're gonna have to tell me what the loy is. Hello, Chloe, how are you? Uh, the pain of not having linseed oil. Don't worry, I always keep um keep a bottle in my breast pocket, just if I ever need it, you know. Sorry, someone said something there. Any progress on the electric guitar? No, that's pretty much been put on side because I was working on the timber frame gazebo because I need to have that done sooner than I thought. Basically, the festival season started a lot earlier um, than I thought it would. So I have two less months to get the whole thing set up and ready. But once I have the mobile woodwork set up, ready to go, then I can start working on projects that aren't work. Do you know what I mean? Right. Great start. We've been streaming for how many minutes? Three minutes. And we put one thing away. Progress. People always ask me, why do I have orbital sanding discs? That's because I have an orbital sander. And when I'm being paid to do jobs, I can't be there all day with a like, in piece of sandpaper. So I only do hand tool work when I'm doing um, pretty much videos, just because I think they do make interesting videos. But yeah, for the most part, I'm majority hand tools. I've just spilled water somewhere. Class. Hello, Chloe. Buy myself a Beamish. Great. Thank you very much. Um, I still, I, I don't know if you saw my comment yesterday on um, uh, the Theo's video. You were saying um, that we were in Cork and you spotted me catching the ball. We were in town, but I didn't get the chance to pop over to Casta Coffee. It, that was gas, actually. Yesterday, um, I was doing a photo shoot for a charity football match that's taking place in June. So if anyone's in Ireland, uh, come down and you can get you can get to watch me make a fool of myself. Um but basically, they wanted a load of TikTok creators to come and play each other. And um, they're kind of doing the promotion stuff at the minute. So myself and another um, girl off TikTok, Miriam Mullins, we were there, you know, back to back, looking at the camera, looking fierce. Uh, and then there was photos of us with the ball under our arm, that kind of stuff. Just looking like we knew what we were doing. I was borrowing someone's football shoes and everything. I felt like an imposter. I haven't played football in like 12 years. Miriam Mullins was actually teaching me the rules as we were going. And I'm going to have to play a game of this in three months. So I'm hoping it'll just be a piss take. Because by the sounds of it, there's people that'll know what they're doing. Right, let's put a second item away. Our compass plane here now. A very handy plane for cutting the curves on our braces. A plane worthy of its own spot. 
in the tool chest. Right, what else should we put away now? I actually bought this Japanese saw specifically for this project, so I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. For now, I'll just slot it up next to the other one. Happy days. Now, there's a load of stuff all over the desk here. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna find the nearest brush and just throw all that down on top of Lucy's head. Sorry, Lucy, I didn't, I didn't think you were wet. That's gonna to stick to you now. That's all right, you forgive me. She will. Okay, if I find myself in town again, well, hopefully I won't. I don't like coming into town, Chloe, but if I am, I'll definitely have to pop in for my free cup of tea. Barry's, of course. If it's lions, I'll walk on out with a frown on my face. Did I watch the Dublin? I don't really follow any sports, to be honest with you, lads. Never really had an interest in any. I know, poor Lucy. Hopefully, um, Peter aren't watching. Ah, God, do we have some sort of bot in there now spamming the chat? Great. I'm glad I'm the vibe right now. Wonderful. This, <clears throat> this is the knife I sharpened on a recent TikTok. <clears throat> so there we go. I actually don't need a knife at the minute, and this is kind of just dangerous on the table. Whoa, this is, so you give me a, a cup of tea from your own stash. The honor to put away our dovetail saw. Hey, we're getting somewhere here. Normally when I go live, I'm less productive. Um, eventually it gets to the point where I just start throwing everything into the drawer behind me here. Do you know what, why wait? Let's do it now. My um, triangular files, very good. They're kind of gone a bit wet, but the files rust, probably. No. Old spoke shave, where do you belong? Put in there for now. Ooh, WD-40 sponsored me one time. And look what they gave me. Where does it go? No, only goes to what? Eight feet. I swear now they do it 40 feet long or something. 40 yards or feet, I don't know. Let's keep going. The old... Sharpening stones, we can just push them to the side for now. Put them up by E, next to the knife. We mightn't get everything away, but we'll get it neat. Some Gorilla Glue. Thank you, Chloe. I need the reminder to put things away. I get, if I ever go to California, I get a free hotel room and frontline passes in California Disneyland. Yes, I will take you up on that offer. Thank you. Great sound. I've been meaning to go to America for the longest time. I'd love to like um, work with a brand or something where I could make some sort of video. Because half my audience is American. More so on YouTube, it's like 70% is American. Which I've always found strange, which should look. Ah. Uh. Ye Americans as well, ye wear your hearts on your sleeves. In Ireland, you know, um, you keep your thoughts and opinions to ourselves. It's just part of the culture. Whereas, like, um, Amer like in America, it's, I don't know, I've never been, but based off, like, the emails I get, like, um, people are like, hey, I'm watching from Tennessee. If you're ever over, you're more than welcome to stay on our ranch for uh, whatever. And I'm like, cool, great, thanks. I'll have to, like, get a map of America and push, like, a, a pin on all the places I'm welcome to stay. I suppose you're, you're, you are, you're the teenagers of the world, a young culture. And you've got a richer, a very, an, a, a very rich woodwork history anyway. A lot of innovation came out of there, do you know? Oh no, my steel wool is wet. Right, I think um, we've almost got this side of the table clean enough and ready to go. I'll uh, put away my roll of um, auger bits and then, um, so we're missing three auger bits. Let's go find them. After a 30, uh, that was a trick. Someone said they went for a certain distance of skiing today. I'm wise to your tricks. I almost said it, but I didn't. Uh, a 30 something, uh, a 40 kilometer ski trip. Whew. 
You've been to America eight times. My God, coming from where? From Yorkshire, a bit more local now. Ah. Right, I'm gonna hang away a few saws, and lads, this table is looking a spectacle. Oh, and is that Robert Sorby saw? I think I do have a Sorby saw somewhere, but the one I showed there wasn't it. Oh, we have a donation. J. Truer. I hope I'm not butchering your pronunciation. Where are you there now? Love your videos. Always makes me smile. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. It's what this is my job at the minute, so you're keeping me there. Hello, Jamie. How are you? I'm going to show you something cool I got the other day. My first ever, like, premium new hand tool. Um, it's a Veritas marking gauge. So basically you just, um, how does it work now? Let's say you're trying to mark out a mortise or a tenon. Yeah, so you stick this into your mortise. Imagine this is a mortise. So you um, loosen it up here anyway, and you can move this fella along here. And then you can lock it into place there then. Apparently you use this as a micro adjuster, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, and then you can transfer that measurement onto your pieces. I already had one. I'll see if I can find it. I think this is like a Wood River one or something. But um, I um, this is a better one. And this is incredibly useful. You should see the older ones. I have one somewhere. I'll pull it out. This is the traditional old-fashioned marking gauge. It's just a pin on a stick. And there's a sliding thing here. And one of the worst things about them is when the moisture level changes, this thing locks. So you can't move it. Whereas I find the newer ones a lot easier. But uh, when I want to be a real traditionalist, I'll pull out this fella for the videos, but I don't really like using them. How are we now? Owen, Owen, Ewan, E-W-A-N. I'm Irish, I should be better at pronouncing names. Um, Ewan McNeelage, good man yourself. Well, thank you very much. You must be coming from one of the British regions, donating pounds. Thank you very much. Using your thumb and a pencil. I uh, just don't knock using your thumb and your pencil. Actually, another premium um, marking tool I have. I have a lot of them. I love mark measuring tools. I think I'll get into machining at some point. Let me show you. Um, my parents gifted me this for my 21st birthday. It is a six inch um, sliding square made by, what's their crowd? Starrett? Yeah. We're at 10% battery. That notification jumped up there. And uh, yeah, cleaning the garage till the phone dies. So I'll probably try to end it at 1% just so that I'm not still live streaming when, um, when I'm actually not live streaming. That's happened before. I also got a deal on a, um, or what do you call them again? A vernier calipers, if I can find it. And I can too. My star okay, no, this is the wrong vernier calipers. I paid like 50 quid for this because it's, it's a decent one. But then I found a treasure when I was rooting through um, a local tool dealer. Well, he's not local. He's over in Kerry. I was rooting through his um, stash one day and I was like, how much for this? He only wanted 15 quid for it. It is a vernier calipers made by Mitoyo... Mitoyo... M-I-T-U-T-O-Y-O. -O. There we have it. Uh, now, I looked up online and these things are selling new for like over 100 quid. So I was happy enough with this. It didn't come with a case or anything, but it's very accurate and works well. So there we have it. I think it's good to have two vernier calipers on the go for cracking things out. This is the one I, I feel okay, given a bit more abuse. That fella I kind of look after. What is the design of the gazebo? I guess it's just a traditional timber frame. Hello, Lucy. I thought I scared you off by pouring shavings on you. Why are you back with a waggly tail? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? I suppose I could put the fro away next. So for that, we'll just go like. There we go. It's raining outside, so all the, normally that would pop out first time, but since the wood and the ingrain has expanded, she locking. You've work at seven tomorrow, rest in peace. I work, I have a very interesting day tomorrow. I am driving out to Monkstown in the west of Cork, and there's an oak tree that's after dying. So myself and a fella I do a lot of work with, Mark, we're going to go along and we're going to cut it down. And then we're going to 
bring it back to a sawmill where it'll be split up into a few slabs of oak and probably a few posts that'll end up in a timber frame. To be honest, I might try buy them off at some point, buy them off him at some point because it'll be his timber. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll probably make a video about it. Do, 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 do. Make a short. Yeah, I thought my YouTube shorts have kind of fallen off in views. I don't know if it's a quality thing or an algorithm thing. It's usually the, the first, it's usually a quality thing. I'll show you my power tools, seeing as uh, I've already kind of exposed myself. I think this was the first power tool I ever bought. It was a, I don't know, some Dewalt power drill. It's handy to have a power drill. I used this to build a pub in the woods back when lockdown came and we couldn't um, go drinking in pubs anymore. What, what were a bunch of young Irish lads going to do? Only build our own. So I bought this fella and I brought it home. And my parents, who wouldn't be woodworkers, they'd be a they're like, what the hell are you doing wasting your money on tools? You're not a carpenter. Showed them. So this fella, still going strong. Uh, what, two and a half years later? And then last summer, I got a job putting up um, sheds and stuff. And the drill just wasn't cutting it anymore. I needed an impact driver. Now, for anyone who doesn't know the difference, drills are more suited towards kind of like boring out holes and stuff. You can drive screws in with, with them, but they're not built for it. Impact drivers, they are. So yeah, I have two of them there now. And I took them away where no one can ever see them on camera. And when I do any drilling or any screw driving, I say, hello, lads. I'm here now with my brace and bit, and I'm busy out. What are you rooting at? Get out of it. I have a hand crank drill somewhere as well, if I can find it. This is my uncle's camera. I better, um, better put that somewhere safe. What else have we got here? This is my broken flash, which still kind of works and I'm too cheap to replace it. Uh, so I won't put that somewhere safe. This is my um, Sony vlogging camera that I, um, I'll be recording myself or I, I won't be cutting down the tree. Mark will be doing all the hard work. I'll just be there. Good man, Mark. Yeah. Oh, you want me to move that? Hey, there's a little fat pig trying to get on, get on camera. Get out of it, buddy. Yeah, drive on. I get that a lot. Um, my videos make you feel like you're working in your grandfather's shop. Cool, I guess. Here's a big fat square now. We'll talk... We'll chuck that in the box as well. I'm gonna show you, I have a bill hook here somewhere. I don't know if anyone ever seen one of them before. They're, um, I went out to get rushes for, um, what's her face? St. Bridget's Day. And I went to the spot I had went last year and the year before. And this year, someone had beat me to it. All the rushes were cut at the stem. And I had to go back to a few very disappointed children in the scouts and say, lads, I let you down. We can't do bridges crosses this year. Next year, maybe. <laughs> There's a absolutely horrible smell after coming in the door, and I don't know where it's from or what it is. <laughs> oh God! Right, I'm still missing a few um, few bits here. All right, so we have our pin hammer we use for adjusting the little planes. Put that back in the box anyway. Fresh out. Now I have scissors, which are just kind of handy to have, I guess. Put them back. Marking gauge. Don't know why I even took that out. To show you, I suppose. Uh, what else? I have the hammer. That needs to go back. Made a ash handle for that there before Christmas. Put him back. Put it on. Perfect fit. What else have we? Big old camera lens, put that somewhere safe. A race card for the dogs. I take photos of dogs running. Um, that's my part-time job I do Saturday nights. She wants Lucy, I don't know where she's gone. Where are you? <whistles> ah, she's gone with the wind. Right, we'll see what, what the battery's looking like. Okay, we're on 8% battery. I keep going for like two minutes. And then I better sack it in. How long? Yeah, 20 minutes is a good, good, nice, concise live stream. <gasps> She's back. Lucy, come here. <coughs> the internet, and they want to, they want to see you. Look at <coughs> She's not looking at all now. Lucy, come here. Do you want to come inside, Lucy? You do. 
this is a Lucy live stream now. I really did get a bit of sawdust on you earlier, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't get any in your eyes, did I? Not at all. Will you forgive me? Right, this table is still looking like that. We will tuck away our WD-40s there now. Cup of tea. Um, oh, we'll take this piece of wood. Lucy, I have a treat for you. Do you like oak, do you? I'll do I have just a piece of oak for you. Mmm, class. Go on, get, take that there now. Good woman. This fella is for sharpening whatchamacallits, card scrapers. Did you drop that straight away? You're lucky you're in the dark. Right, an old marking knife there. Spoke shave here that's gotten gemmed up. <laughs> oh, I have a nice snug place to put this fella. There we go. That fella can go up there then. What else? An old hand crank drill. Put that away. This is kind of like the unofficial toolbox tour no one asked for. Measuring tape go up there now. Oh, a few days ago I um, glued up my chisel here. I wonder how that's after. Um, basically, I used it how it wasn't supposed to and um, it broke. As things tend to do when you use them how you're not supposed to. And I had to glue up the handle there now. So by the looks of it, it's after gluing onto the thing as well. Um, here it's obviously not a perfect fix, but um, I'll take a bit of sandpaper to it. And it can join its friends. You know, it's the biggest chisel, so it can afford to be a bit uglier than the rest of them. A few pencils there now. I like to tuck them away in behind the hammer, so I can always find one. Bench hook. I tuck him away back here now. What else have we got? Yeah, I think I think that's that's a tidy enough workbench for now. I'll uh, save something for the people on TikTok. Uh, go live on YouTube. I'd kind of be worried if the live stream kept going, um, so I'm going to end it. Whereas on TikTok, I let the phone die. So, sound for watching. I appreciate all donations. They're um, keeping me in job at the minute. Um, with that being said, uh, stay tuned. And uh, stay posted for our Oak video tomorrow. Slan.